Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to use or to create a simple application which uses ING Lion web components. And the web components are special, they're so called white label white, uh, web components because they come without any branding. Um, so, what means is they are easier to customize. So, if you have already existing CSS, uh, it is very easy to customize these web components. They are really useful. So, um, I would like to use Rollup for the uh, for the build process. So, what has to happen is I would like to aggregate all the dependencies to a single file. So, I use Rollup for that. And this is the uh, repository. This is the ING bank, and this is the Lion components. Okay, so um, usually I use date picker, so, but there are lots of useful components like input email, range, stepper, IBAN, or date picker. So let's go with the date picker because I already created a few videos or screencasts with a date picker. So um, it takes a while until the serverless application uh, boots, but now is um, so far and I can actually use it directly. So I will have to install the date picker that way. So what I would like to do is to create an empty folder or project called depths, switch to the folder. And I created a small script setup rollup. What it just does, it says npm init y and it copied the uh, rollup file as an input here. So this is a typical rollup JS file. What it comes with is input and output. We don't need the node resolver and browse through for now because uh, ENG Lion already comes with as ESM dependencies. We need the node resolve, but not the browser through. And uh, what this plugin does, it basically replaces this add with a path. Um, that's all we need. So, and we have the index.js, which is empty, and the package JSON is also empty. Uh, what only happens behind the scenes, the plugin resolve was installed. So this was like a three-liner, the script which created that. And what I have to do here, I would like to install the date picker. So let's do this. Um, the date picker, this needs to happen. So I would like to install the date picker. And so the date picker is installed. We should see this here. So this is the dependency, but uh, what I also will have to do is to say I would actually uh, like to use that. And for that reason, we can do that. So I'll just go with this. I will just copy this. And now we have the dependency and then roll up minus C is enough to build that. So um, ignore the, uh, the warning. It uh, is uh, almost normal for some libraries and uh, so what we have here and uh, now we have here uh, the index.js which is the output what I'm not happy with with the name index.js so what I would like to do is instead of doing this I can just or th this was fine um, I could rename that to ing lion and then it is nicer in a second so you will see why I did that, and this should be ing lion. So go with that. So do it again. And uh, what we got, so I will just delete the folder. What we got right now, this, and now we should have the ing lion file. This somewhere, ing. Lion. So the, the other files are just for translation purposes. So all the components are internationalized in 15 languages, I think. So, but this is the ING Lion. And at the very end of the file, you will see the date picker. Okay. Nothing is minified. Nothing is optimized. It Everything, you know, the entire framework now is in one component. Okay. Now I have it. So uh, let's create now a project. Uh, and... Uh, Let's call it date picker DP. And this is a uh, an empty project which I used a lot. So let's open that here and here. And it just comes with an empty index HTML. So there's uh, and I would like to activate right now the module support. And there is an empty CSS and almost empty JS. So this is my starting point. And uh, let's go with the component. 
and call it uh, air hacks. This is what I can remember easily. Hacks extends HTML element and custom elements, custom elements define. And what I would like to do is to use the air hacks and air hacks. So I'm, I registered a component with the name air dash hacks and um, I should be able with connected callback to use this component. So usually in all my projects, I'm using lit HTML, which I would also like to do now. So I would like to switch to source and then create a folder. Oh, now let's copy the dependencies first. This might be uh, easier. So uh, copy uh, dist, copy folder, dist lib, everything with the, with the internationalization messages into, um, it was uh, date picker source. So this is what I would like to do. Just copy that. And what I have is now the lib folder. And inside the lib folder, I would also like to install lit HTML. This is exactly the same. Lit HTML is even easier. You only have to copy the file. There's no build needed. So um, now I have here the lit HTML. So now use the lit import statement. And this is lib and uh, lit HTML. It comes with HTML and render. And then I can here say const template equals HTML. And then here I would like to use the uh, date picker. And uh, this should render, let's just try that, render template in this. So, and before we use the date picker, announcing the great date picker. So uh, I only have to use the component here. So let's use it. And this is a uh, hex. So announcing the P seems to work without the date picker, right? So um, let's, uh, let's use the uh, date picker. And for that, I only have to load from the library, not the date picker, rather than the ing lion component I wrote, and this is um, wrote a file. This is more realistic. What happens in 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 in, in I would say, commercial projects, not in uh, you know leisure, is that uh, we create a file which already which already comes with all the dependencies. So we have like ing lion with all the components we need in in one file. It's more convenient to use. Okay, now uh, what I need is the browser again with a sample code because. Let's go with the very first example. And it comes with some markup. So just copy this over and hope that it is working. So let's see. And um, what we have here. So we don't have any validators. So I would like to remove it. And the slots are also not needed. So remove that. And it already, also the um, markup is not complete. I already see something on the screen. And so it doesn't look nice, but this is the entire point. Uh, this is the default style sheet from the browser. So now what I can do is I can now create my own CSS and make it look like, you know, a component from my company, like an AirHex component. So um, different approach than UI5 components from SAP or Vardin. They are just no white label without any styling, which is great. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming AirHex Live online workshops, also about uh, web apps, SPAs, or projects, or conferences. So thank you and bye.